Hello friends and welcome to Digimento. Today we will be discussing about a very important issue that is the border issue between India and China. And recently we know that India has dominated China at the Kala top or the black top. So in this context, we will be discussing about the very recent current affair that is the ongoing SEO Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting. And also we will discuss about uh, the, what is the issue between India and China? What is this border issue and uh, this uh, certain current affair that is related to Kala Top and then the present status of this issue? So these are the topics that we will be discussing today. So let's uh, move on to the lecture. And before that, if you like this video, do not forget to share it with your friends. And if you are preparing for GATE, NTA, UGC NET or PGT Computer Science, you can avail our online courses. I'll give you the details and uh, before that if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also please do press the bell icon for receiving the notifications from us. Now this is our website www.digimento.com You can visit our website to know the details of the courses that we provide online. Also this is the number with which you can get in touch with us and get to know about the details of the online courses that we provide. <laughs> now let's come to the Kala Top issue. So Indian Army has thwarted the Chinese PLA. PLA is People Liberation Army of China. So Chinese Army, that is the People Liberation Army of China, has attempted to capture the important peak of Kala Top. So Kala Top, why it is very important? Because it's a strategic location. So its importance is in its location. It's very close to Pangong Lake. And because of its uh, strategic location, it's very important. It's a very important border area for us. And the Chinese army, that is the People Liberation Army of China, had attempted to capture the Kala Top. But what happened? Indian army thwarted the attempt. And uh, we have won. So, Chinese side, what happened from China's side? Chinese side violated the understanding and engaged in proactive military maneuvers in the uh, late night of 29th and the 30th of August. That is the last month, a week uh, or 10 days back and tried to change the attempt or uh, sorry, um, attempted to change the status. Uh, so, the status here means that uh, the authority of uh, both the countries. There is a mutual understanding that has been agreed upon earlier. But Chinese army, what they did, they tried to engage proactive military action in that area and they tried to change the status. That is, they tried to establish Chinese domination in that particular area. Now, uh, the reality or the status is that actually India dominates China at Kala Top. So, uh, Kala Top is also known as the Black Top. So, India dominates China and black top, if we look into the location, I will show you the map. But before that, um, the location, the black top is in the southern part of the Pangong Lake. So, it's very close to Pangong Lake. That is why it is a very important location or what we call as a strategic location. Okay. So, <laughs> the black top is in the southern part of Pangong Lake. Now, um, see, this is the... Uh, location we will see here okay so this is Pangong So Pangong So Lake and here you will see towards the southern part of the Pangong So so this is the Pangong So Lake so yes this one here you will see the Pangong So Lake it is still here okay till here so see black top it's very close to Pangong So. So it's very close to the southern part of the Pangong So lake. So see this is the lake. Okay, I'll just draw it once again to make it more clear for you. <coughs> see this is the Pangong So lake. We will see what is F4, F8 and all that. We will see later in this lecture itself. So, 
here. So this is the southernmost border of the Pangong Zoo. See black top or uh, kala top. It's very close to the southern border of the Pangong Zoo. Okay, so this is the location. And where is this Pangong Zoo? Uh, if we talk about India's uh, border borders, so Pangong Zoo uh, it's very close to Ladakh. So in Ladakh, okay, close to Ladakh. Okay. Now, what happened on 31st and 30th of August? On 31st of August, the ground commanders of two sides, that is from China and India, were in discussion to de-escalate the situation. That is, uh, already a border issue was going on between India and China. So, the uh, ground commanders from India and China, they were in a discussion to de-escalate, that is to bring down the tensions. So, to de-escalate the situation, but... The Chinese troops again engaged in proactive action in the black top or the kala top area. So they engaged in proactive military action. So here action means military action. Now the reason this happened almost 10 days back. But the reason why I am bringing a lecture on it today is because it's very important to discuss about the current stages of it. That's why we will come to it. Okay, then we will see further what happened. Further, the movement of Chinese tanks and machinery has been halted because of dominant position held by India's special frontier. So, we said that in Kala Top, India is holding a dominant position as compared to China. So, even though try, uh, China tried to engage in proactive military action in this area, this was halted or this was stopped by dominant position uh, held by the Indian Special Frontier that is SFF. So the dominant position which was held by India's forces they halted the Chinese move to establish their domination in this area. China deployed type 15 light tank whose armor is thinner and it carries a 105 millimeter gun. India deployed T-90 Bisma tank, one of the deadliest tanks in the world with the capacity to deal with biological and chemical weapons. So, India retaliated. So, India retaliated to the Chinese action taken uh, that time. And recently, uh, Indian moves in Chushil sector, Chushil sector uh, aimed at forcing complete China pullback. So, uh, India has been taking efforts to Force the China for a complete pullback. Indians upped surveillance all along the LAC. LAC is line of actual control. So LAC or the line of actual control is between India and China. Whereas LOC, line of control, it is between India and Pakistan. So do not confuse between both LAC and LOC, <coughs> line of actual control. So India's uh, Indians have upped, that means increased the surveillance all along the LAC, especially at the gaps where the terrain allows the Chinese to move in quickly. Troops moved to strengthen the positions at finger 3. So, finger 3, uh, I'll come to it. Okay, so troops moved to strengthen their positions at finger 3 on the Pangong North Bank, occupying heights uh, west of finger 4 where Chinese continue to occupy the ridge line after coming in 8 kilometers from finger 8. I'll show you what is finger 3, 4 and 8. Now, if we look into this map, um, here we will see that this is finger 4, okay? This is finger 8 and we also have finger 3. So, it's not seen here. So, these are the uh, chalk points we can say. So, these are some of the chalk points. Okay. Now, yeah, in this figure, you will be able to see all the chalk points. Finger 1, 2, 3. So, this is the lake, okay. So, this is the northern side of the lake. So, this is the Pangong Lake. And uh, uh, actually, uh, the black top or the kala top, it's in the southern part. So, black top or the kala top. Now, finger 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have an ITBB camp. ITBB, Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force. Here is finger 5, finger 6, finger 7, 8. So, these are the 8 shock points. Okay. And here there is Chinese camp. Okay. Now, they try to come into, into the border, uh, crossing the border areas. 
okay so here in the southern side we have the black top or the kala top now most important is the present status why is present status is important because it's very important for us to de-escalate the tensions between india and china otherwise it will go into greater heights china is a very strategic neighbor of india and also holds a dominant position in the region that is the asia region so it's very important so we will discuss about the present status so indian army has occupied a heights overlooking the chinese army positions at finger 4 along the pangso uh, pa pangongso lake and these operations were carried out along with the preemptive actions to occupy heights near the southern bank of pangongso lake around the august end now the meeting between external affairs minister india's external affairs minister s j shankar and chinese foreign minister wang yi has begun in moscow so the me meeting is going on okay and this is in the sidelines of SEO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So two leaders are meeting on the sidelines of the SEO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization foreign ministers meeting. And China on Tuesday has asked uh, recently the Indian students, there are hundred, hundreds of or thousands of Indian students uh, who are doing their courses in China. So China on Tuesday has asked many of the Indian students stranded back home due to the coronavirus pandemic to remain in touch with their respective colleges. And if the meeting, that is the SEO meeting on the sidelines of SEO meeting, the foreign ministers of China and India are meeting to de-escalate the tensions regarding the border issue. Now, what will happen if the meeting fails? If the meeting fails to reach a positive result or if two sides cannot execute the agreement on the front line, this could be a dangerous signal that China and India are unlikely to solve the crisis peacefully. It can even go into a war-like situation. So it can go into a war or uh, another thing here important is that India and China are two major players in Asia region. And Asia is actually the upcoming economy or the uh, upcoming region or regional power we can say. So all the other developed countries in the West, especially the US and the European countries are looking into these two countries. So most important is uh, US, then we have Japan, then Australia. All these countries are looking into both these countries because of the strategic importance of these countries, especially because of the potential of these countries bordering the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So in all that regard, uh, there is a chance that if the tensions do not de-escalate, if, if it does not come down, then definitely the world itself can uh, go into two poles, one supporting India and the other one China, and it can even go into a war. So it's very important that these issues get settled uh, with this meeting or so. So let's hope for the best and let the border issues get settled soon. I'll meet you again with another lecture, another topic. Please do take care and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please do share it with your friends as well. Thank you.